Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So we've played Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, but now it's time for a game that was actually around after I was born. Super Mario Galaxy. So, let's get started. Oh, it's so good already. This is a game that really changed the way that we look at Mario, I think. Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine were good. But Super Mario Galaxy's world is so big and beautiful and the music is absolutely phenomenal. Just wanted to say that before we got started. So, for this game, the other two games I played using Pro Controller, which you don't have to use, but for Super Mario Galaxy, you want to play with Joy-Cons, because you also have to use the pointer, which means motion controls moving the pointer on the screen by moving your controller and pointing at different directions. You can use R to re center it to the screen, which is useful. Um, but yeah, let's select a profile. Profile 1, probably. Let's create a game file on this planet. I like how they kept the Wii-style graphics. You also get to select an icon, which you can... I guess it has to be one of these ones, so... I guess I'll do Toad for now. <sighs> yes, I'd like to use this icon. On the Wii, you could use Miis, but apparently, I guess you can't on this version, which is interesting. So... We can also change our icon if we want to, but why would you when you have Toad? There's also co-star play, but uh, I'm just going to ignore that, so <laughs> let's get started. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet... The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. So, we can move around just like we could in Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. We still have side flips, but they're not quite as overpowered as they were in the other two games. We still have jumps, triple jumps, jumps. Uh, we don't can't attack in midair, and we can't even attack. We have no attack button now. So diving and all sorts of things are out of the question now. Which I guess limits the movement a little bit, but... I mean, it kind of works for this game.
Princess Peach. You are finally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. The festival's over. So now, if you've never seen the beginning of this game before, you probably weren't expecting it to go this bad so quickly. And it's pretty bad. But let's quickly get to the castle. We can still long jump by pressing ZR and the jump button while running. Let's get to the castle. So long, enjoy your flight. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Come on, jump with B. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. So there they go, teleporting away, so we need to go find them. Also, there are little star bits. <laughs> well, there are little uh, coloured uh, crystal-like things around the place. If you see them, uh, you can use the cursor to pick them up, basically, instead of having to walk into them, which you can also do that. But obviously, cursor makes it a lot easier to just pick them up. We can pick up coins, but they don't have as much use as they did in other games because the, the health doesn't work the same way. Anyway, there's a rabbit. Let's go and catch it if we can. It's running away from us as quickly as it can. Just like one-ups in the older games. You caught me! Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Okay then, let's go check the crater then. Because if we go into this crater, there's another one. You can get them in any order, but whenever you grab one, you caught me. Ah, uh, if only I'd hidden the pipe. They tell you where the other one, or another one is, and it always allows you to get all three of them fairly quickly. 
because it tells you where they are. If I can find the pipe, I saw it just now, but oh, it's over here, next to this one. Just have to jump on the pipe to go through. Let's get this last bunny. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. I can't believe it. I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here to deep space, far from your lands. We call it the Getaway to the star Starry Sky. Gateway to sky the Starry star 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 Sky. Words are, <laughs> the, the words are mixing all together. Mama's waiting above. Please help her with whatever she asks. Sorry, let's go up with the camera. Which we can move, kind of, with the control stick. Right stick, that is. I've been waiting, I've been watching you from here. This place is called Get the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To, to save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. You have the ability to spin now. Shake the Joy-Con. Uh, you can also spin with Y. Disaster has struck us just as it has visited you with Luma. Uh, with Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. So now we have an attack by shaking the Joy-Con, but you probably want to just press the Y button instead to spin. It, other than an attack, it also counts as an extra jump to make you go higher and also just stay in the air longer, so... I believe the best way to stay in the air is to... Uh, side flip, wall jump... No, side flip, spin, wall jump, spin to get the highest point. But anyway... Shake the Joy-Con or press Y to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. So yes. Now that we can spin, we can break these crystals that we've seen in different places. This is a launch star. Shake Joy-Con or press Y when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. Now, go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. So let's go. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall into the black hole. Where are all those star chips? And also, the black hole that was mentioned is this thing. It's like a, a center point of gravity, and if you fall into it, you die. Because black holes crush you to death basically. And also other things. But anyway, we do have lives in this game over there. So we do need to be careful about dying too many times. It's the same as in Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64. If you die, you go back to the the, the first screen, I'm guessing. If you collect one of though, you earn a, earned an additional Mario. So we have another life back. Anyway, we need to collect these star fragments, or what's it called? Launch star fragments, I guess, because they're parts of a launch star. We can see how many we have up here. We need to light up all five points. Sorry, let's grab this one. 
We can jump on these uh, Goombas to take them out, or we can spin to kill them. Um, and there's a few other things we'll be going over that in a minute. So once we have all five pieces of the launch star, we can go to the launch star and launch to the next planet. Now let me get rid of you. A lot of these enemies are fairly basic, not very strong. If they walk into you though, you will take damage, but... Oh, it does actually heal you. Never mind, I'm just crazy. I thought that didn't heal you in this game, but apparently I'm thinking completely wrong. That's fine. So yeah, coins do heal you. That's the important thing. Anyway, there's a Luma in this cage over here. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake or press Y to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Well, that doesn't work with most of them, but with a particular kind, which is over here. This is a different type of Goomba, you can tell by its shape and color. But this one, you actually do have to hit it and then... Yep, you actually do have to spin it and then kick it to kill it, instead of just spin to kill it. Anyway, let's grab this key, which we can also grab with Mario's fist, apparently. And if we go down here quickly, we can also spin into this to make it make a noise, I think. That might attract enemies, possibly, I, I don't actually know. Other than it just making it sound, I don't know if it has any other use, so maybe. I'm gonna test this on the next planet. Thanks, would you mind rescuing me, rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform! So, Sling Stars are kind of similar to Launch Stars, but they don't launch you as far, so... Anyway, okay, that doesn't uh, attract their attention, but it does um, knock them over. So, as you just saw, if we jump on a, a regular Goomba, which these are regular Goombas, uh, you get a coin, but if you spin into them and then kick them, they drop Star Bits. That's the basic rule of spinning to kill enemies is if you spin them, you get star bits. If you jump on them, you get a coin. So, let's grab that. Oh, we don't even need these coins, but anyway. Guess they're there to help you if you get hit by anything. Like the electricity on these platforms on the edges that we need to be careful of. Oh my goodness, speaking of. But there is a giant Goomba up here. We need to, we can't jump on him, so we have to spin him. And then kick him to get this so there we go. Probably should have talked to the Loomers, but we already know what we need to do. Technically. If you take damage, grab a coin to boost your life. Hurry! Down here! We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star, we have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Also, I haven't mentioned the main mechanic of this game, which is gravity, basically. On so basically, whenever we're running around on the surface of a planet, we'll obviously stick to it and have the camera roll around with it. But when we're on the inside of the planet, usually we'll be running around on the outside of it like this, which is a little bit wonky. But anyway, we need to do a few things here. So let me quickly go over here because there's a Luma that's actually supposed to tell us what we're supposed to do. If I can find it. I think it's back. Maybe it's not here. What? There it is. Turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. So yes, these yellow panels on the ground we need to turn them all blue to turn them off. So that we can get this, uh, star out. So let's just do all of that. And the Grand Star is released. Let's grab it as we would a star in, or shine in the previous two games.
You got a star. Grand Star Rescue Gateway Galaxy. Which we can't go back to anymore. It's only possible to do Gateway Galaxy once. You increased your star bit count. And you've discovered a new galaxy. On the Terrence? Or oh, Terrace? I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Terrence, it's Terrence! The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly. Maybe only as bright as a class 6 star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. I thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every, uh, once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. I have a request. This ob observatory uses power, star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Yeah. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these, but the only one that is working now, powered by the, pow the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet, Observatory abil Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Yes, I'd like to save my game. The grand star that we just got is not the main collectible of the game though. It's more like a... Uh... Like a... A big one that kind of... A kind of a big thing that makes it able for us to progress in the game. It's like a, a boss reward. But anyway. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pool star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your cursor at the pool star and press A. If you lose sight of the cursor, you can re reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the pull star directly on the screen. I don't know if I'd recommend in handheld mode. If you're going to play undocked at all, I'd recommend getting out the stand on the back of the Switch and then standing it up with Joy-Cons detached. Anyway, so let's now press A while with a cursor over the pull star to pull ourselves into it. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther away you'll be able to travel. So for now, the rest of these planets are unavailable to us, or well, these galaxies, but this first one here requires one star power, which we do have. So let's tap on that to unlock. And let's go to Good Egg Galaxy. Select the planet you want to go to. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. And then we can either go back to cancel out of selecting this galaxy, 
or fly to this galaxy which will start us off in the level. We also need to select which star we want to go after. Starting off, Dino Piranha. Here we are, and this is a great song. All the music in this game is great, but it's just... Oh, it's all so good. Anyway, I also believe we can walk through this to make star bits appear and possibly spin on these butterflies to get star bits from them, although I think I'm wrong about that, so just ignore that. And let's go to the other side of this planet. To pick up star bits scattered across the galaxies, touch them with your cursor. In handheld mode, you can also collect them by tapping directly on the screen. Collect 50 to get a 1-up, and it really wouldn't hurt to store some up. Now point at your... Point your draw coin at the screen, and collect as many star bits as you can. So yeah, we're going to want to collect as many star bits as we can. We can also get them by jumping into this uh, question mark block, which is surprising. After collecting enough from the sub uh, question mark block, we also get the the block explodes into more, so. Anyway, I also believe we can use this pipe to go back to the other side of the planet, since it's the pipe that goes right through. And oh my goodness, this music is amazing already. It's so good. Anyway, let's go up here. Get rid of this Oh, what is it called? I don't actually know what it, they're called, but anyway. We can go over here, using anti-gravity to our advantage to get over here. Grab all that. Now, let's keep moving on. Because we have a job to do here. Sometimes, star bits can land on a planet as well, so that's what's happening sometimes. When we find them just randomly. Is that means that a star bit crashed onto the planet, allowing us to get some. If you need to collect star bits, remember that spinning enemies helps with that. My friends are ahead, hurry! Okay, let's use this. And that... We get over to this planet. We have to avoid these rocks. And also if we step into this mud, we walk slowly, so we need to be careful about that as well. If you get hurt, grab a coin to patch yourself up. Thank you for telling me something that another one of you has already told me, but I guess it's easy to skip over text sometimes. And Mario 64 made sure that that couldn't happen as often. Um, we missed one somewhere. There it is. I believe, also, if these rocks, with these rocks rolling towards us, if we spin as it's on its red point, we can also break them for some small star bits, but getting that timing to work is a little bit risky. But if you want star bits, it's also worth it, so. Anyway, let's go to the next planet. I really love going from planet to planet as an idea, as a concept. Those enemies latch onto you, kind of like the um, the pink things in Super Mario Sunshine, you just have to spin to get them off. Okay, what does this sign say? Oh my goodness, gravity is a little bit, being a little bit weird, that's okay. Grab a uh, Sproutle vine and shake the Joy-Con to twirl up it. You can also twirl with Y. Just say that you can go up the vine by spinning. <laughs> That's easier than saying how to spin again. Okay, let's go. Which puts us onto another planet. Now let's go through here. We can also spin into these to have them launch away from us and break things sometimes. We also have to be careful not to get hit ourselves because otherwise it stuns us. But they are quite useful to knock around, so. Anyway, I believe we're getting very close to the end of this area here. So, let's have a look at this enemy, which is a type of piranha plant. So we can jump on it, or we can hit it with these green bouncy things as well. So, let's keep moving. 
onto another planet. I believe this is an enemy that we've seen before in Super Mario 64. So, I believe if I can follow its footprints and spin into it, it's a money bags, which gives us lots of star bits. It's kind of similar to the enemy in Super Mario 64 that was pretending to be a coin, and then if you kill it, gives you more coins. Watch out! After you spin once, you have to wait until your Luma comes back before you can spin again. Also, I'm pretty sure you can only spin once in midair anyway, so. Let's go up this way. These things are very Octorok like, but also aren't Octoroks. Anyway, let's go to the next planet. Whenever you're being launched by a launch star, basically just have your cursor go all over the screen to try and get as many star bits from anywhere possible. I'm also going to grab some of these star bits that are just around in these crystals, just so I can have them easier. There are coins in some of these crystals, and there all are also these sprouts. Now, these sprouts, if you shoot them with a star bit by pressing ZR, drop a coin. So I've just wasted that coin, but now we can actually get things in different ways by shooting these uh, sprouts with a star bit. We also know how to shoot star bits now, which is also important. But anyway, let's spin into this thing's tail. And now we have a little boss to fight. Just need to dodge it and then spin into its tail to do damage. Depending on how many times you've hit it, it will get angry, but also its flower petals will disappear the more you get along. Coins are there to heal because this is a boss fight. Let's take you out. One more hit to go, obviously, because it's a Nintendo boss. Oh, but I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. And because of the gravity being all weird, the way that the controls move changes depending on the camera angle. But for defeating the boss, a power star appears. Whenever you collect a power star, your health gets regenerated. But this is also not a grand star. Grand stars are the powered up versions of power stars. Power Stars is just the basic energy for power points in the game, so... Our star bits after collecting a star will get cleaned up into our total, but we don't take our total into each level. The star bits you get in a level stay with you in the level, and then you drop them off back at uh, the Comet, Ob Ob Comet Observatory. Those are star bits! Delumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your cursor... <laughs> Aim your Joy-Con at the screen and point your cursor at them to pick them up. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can also collect star bits by tapping them directly on the screen. Once you have some, shoot them by pressing, aiming with your cursor and pressing ZR. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Okay, I'll grab these. Then aim at you. That's the tastiest. Yum! Delicious! Oh, thank you, yes! Mmm, tasty! Let's call those little mor morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Starbits will be a big help on your adventure. So there we go. Now we have the basic idea of how this game plays out. So. We don't have enough stars to go to the next galaxy, so let's head back to Good Egg Galaxy. And whenever you've collected a star, 
if you go to recollect it, it'll look like this clear star here, and it won't give you another power star point. So, yeah, that's just how that is. So you want to keep making sure that you collect new stars and not old stars, but you can do old stars if you want to just have fun, I guess, and collect star bits, which is also important. A snack of cosmic proportions. Okay, so, for this we're going to start wanting to collect as many star bits as possible, probably. Probably a good thing to do. And I believe the actual way that we need to go has changed from last time, so. We still start off from the same planet, which is pretty cool. And yeah, make sure that you spin into enemies to get their star bits instead of jumping on them to get a coin. And you should be pretty good. We can also go to the other side of the planet, of course, to get more star bits. But I don't think you need that many star bits from the first planet, but there are plenty to go around if you need them, so... Instead, let's head down... ...and head over to the other side of the planet, this way. Oh, get this! You can shoot these star bits with ZR! Zap 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 pow! Just aim your cursor at your target and fire with ZR. Run into enemies while they're stunned to finish them off. So I guess that is one reason to shoot with stunning them and then kicking them for more star bits, but that means you only get two extra overall. Anyway, I think this is actually the correct way to go, so I'm going to go back quickly and look at everything else on this planet. Get rid of you, get rid of you, and get rid of you. Very good. There's also these circles that you'll find sometimes. It's not always rocks, sometimes it's seashells, sometimes it's other things, but if you spin in the middle, it, they turn into star bits. So that's also very useful to know. Now then, let's go over here. There's an orange pipe for us that we could use. There's also a green that I could spin for some star bits. If we go through here, we end up in a secret area. And there are these gold things that are glowing that you can shoot for coins, but we don't need to shoot them with star bits for coins, so... For now, instead, let's grab this... Uh, question mark coin. Which just does a different thing depending on what it needs to do. It's not always going to do the same thing. But for this one, we just, it spawns in all of these notes, and if we walk into all these notes, it plays a special song. And if we collect them all... It spawns a 1-up. So, if we go over here, we can actually pick it up from here. So there we go. And let's head out this pipe now. Now we're on top of this house here. If you get tired and want to return to the observatory, plus pl plus er, and select return to the observatory. But you can't bring back any star bits you've picked up, so be careful. So I'm probably never going to do that then. Basically is what all that's saying. Since if you want to keep your star bits, you have to just collect a star, which isn't usually that bad. Anyway, let's head up here, because there's some more star bits here instead of what we had last time. Because of which st star we've selected, it will do different, have different things in the level for us, so... Now then, let's continue. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Head forward using the pool star and... Launch... No, it's a, um, sling star. If you're in handheld mode, you can just tap on the, um, the pull star and sling star directly. Except that's a launch star, not a sling star. So I don't know what the game was trying to do with that, but anyway, let's go. No star pits to pick up. Grab that, and that, and that. Kick you. And I think if we spin this into enemies and also these spiky things here, we get star bits as well. Oh, Goomba, what are you doing? Goomba, what are you doing? <laughs> Goomba, no! My friend, except you weren't. But anyway, let's get some more star bits because we're going to need them. 
No. Get you. Okay. Just want to get a few more star bits if I can. Okay. There are a lot of ways to get star bits, and it's nice. Oh, and this music right now is really good. I'd highly recommend looking up the soundtrack for this game. Okay. Let's go. And while we're going through here, there's also another launch star that we can take if we spin here. But I'm gonna go, just go down here for now. So, let's keep collecting some more star bits on this planet if we can. Oh, missed that. Try to get a better timing on this. There we go. There's also a sling star over here for a coin, but I don't need a coin. There we go. And this one as well. Okay. If you are playing in two player, uh, the second player can aim at the screen and point. It's unfortunately just single player with an extra pointer, so you can only have one person moving around. But you can have a second person aiming at the screen for star bits or freezing enemies. Which means that if it's a rock or boulder thing, if it crashes into another boulder it will uh, break and drop the star bits, so that's also useful. But still not the best kind of multiplayer I'd like to see in a Mario game. Anyway, over this way there's another launch star in midair, but we're going to skip over that. And let's explore this planet. This is where the Hunger Loomer is, but I'm going to come back to that after exploring a little bit more. Which is going to take a little bit of time to explore, but you know. I just want to show all the different planets you can get star bits on, so. What's also interesting is, I believe, uh, those launch stars in midair aren't... Like, I don't know if they take you to different planets, or if they take you to different planets faster, so as a kind of faster way to get around. Like a shortcut thing. Uh, that looks like that's everything here, so let's get to that launch star. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform! I'm famished, I need a hundred star bits to curb the hunger pangs. We've got over 200, so we're, ha we're really good on star bits right now. But, as I said, I want to explore a little bit more. So, now let's spin here, because we're going back to the uh, first planet we went to. Just by spinning, we take it's taking us to a planet we've already been to, as expected. So, I believe these actually just are shortcuts, so I guess that's good by itself. But still. So yeah, you can actually do that instead. And I'm guessing that this first one on this, from this first planet, I believe this is the first planet, right? This 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 shortcut here should take us back to the planet with the hungry Luma on it. It's only three planets, and yeah, it's, the shortcuts are there just to go back instead of forward, basically, in the cycle. So there we go, that's all of that done. And so many blue lines on the screen now, showing you where the launch stars take you. And now, let's feed this Hungry Luma. As long as you're shooting its face with the target, I don't think you can use more than you need to. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's always, always just enough, so. That's it, I'm stuffed, here we go! Transform! A new planet was born. So when Hungry Loomers uh, eat enough, they transform into a planet, leaving a launch star for you to get there. And it's also a different colored launch star. It's like a pink one now. So, let's go down to this new planet. And let's explore here, I guess. Although there's not much to explore, and we don't really need star bits anymore, so I think I'm just going to keep going from here. Okay. There's a one up here if I want it. Also some more of these spiky things. I guess it's worth taking out the spiky things. 
since they're a bit of a hazard. Also, we can still wall jump like in previous games. And when Mario gets to a ledge, he usually flips up onto it. So he gets a little bit of extra height if he needs to. Just need to keep that in mind when uh, trying to take shortcuts, basically. Take that. Okay. And with this, we should be getting fairly close to the end of this. Let's go up here. Oh, don't fall off that way. Go up here and let's go to the next planet, which is in the middle. And now let's have a look at this planet. This is going to be introducing us to a few new mechanics as well. As well as, I guess, in addition to a previous mechanic. So, if we can get over to this crystal here, which has a hole underneath it to get into this planet. Let's go in. And now we get to a 2D section. I'm pretty sure you can't go forward or backwards, so... You have to go sideways. We've also got these... Uh, arrows on the wall with the color the colors blue and red to show us which way we can actually we, which way we go when we go into that area so when we're on the the red arrows going up we go up because of the gravity but when we go on the blue arrows going down we go down so that's just how that is so let's keep going through here a lot of things to find but here's the end, so let's use this launch star. And whenever you launch star through something crystal, you usually get star bits to spawn. And sometimes glass as well, but not that glass, apparently. Now, let's have a look at this gigantic star-shaped, launch star-shaped planet. To try and get these pool stars. Shards, because that's what they are. Similar to launch star shards. Oh my goodness, gravity is weird sometimes with the controls. But that's okay. Let's grab that, and then the last one. So, now we have pull stars to pull ourselves across to the star. But also, I'm pretty sure if you do it correctly, you can just spin and long jump and spin into this power star. So, there we go. You've discovered a new galaxy. Now that we have three stars, we can do that. Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Well, there we go, let's save our game. It asks us if we want to save after every star. But that is it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.